everyone, my name is Miss Maria, I'm the Bilingual Children's Librarian at the Pawtucket Public Library, here to share with you another great sensory story class. Today, Miss Maria is going to be sharing a great story about a spider. We'll also be sharing some songs, and we'll also be doing a simple craft today. All right, my friends, why don't we start with our greeting song? Here's our greeting picture. All right, and our greeting song for today is Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. Here we go. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In five, four, three, two, one, blast off! We're all done with our greeting song. Put it in the envelope. Now we're gonna do more songs. Time to sing more songs. Oh, and remember, my friends, that if you have a musical instrument at home, you can use like a shaker or maybe a scarf. You can use those to sing along with me. Or remember, you can use your hands to clap or your voice to sing along. All right, what's the weather? What's the weather today? Is it sunny? Is it rainy? Or is it windy out today? Let's sing about it. Here we go. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it rainy? Is it windy out today? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it rainy? Is it windy? How today? Yay! All right, let's sing more songs. Let's do the itsy bitsy spider. Show me your hands. Here we go. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. Yay! All right, and now for my ultimate favorite song, the wheels on the bus, let's use our hands. Here we go. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all through the town. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 all through the town. All right, music is all done. We're all done singing. Let's put it in our envelope. Now it's time for a story. Miss Maria is going to read you a story. All right, today's story is called Walter's Wonderful Web, a story by Tim Hopgood. And I'm reading this story with permission from the Pharaoh Strauss Jerome's Publishing Company. Walter wished he could spin a perfect web just like his friends. But Walter's web weren't perfect. They were wibbly wobbly. Hmm, where's Walter? Here he is. Let's put Walter on the board. There he is. 
And when the wind blows, wibbly wobbly webs always blow away. But Walter was determined. So one morning he decided to start with something simple. Very carefully he made a small web in the shape of... Can you tell what shape this is? That's right, it's a triangle web. Ah, here it is. Let's put it with Walter. Oh no, whoosh, here comes the wind. And blow away the triangle web. Oh no. Well, Walter started again. And this time he made a bigger web in the shape of. Let's find out. Aha! Uh -huh. What do we see? It's a square, that's right. Let's put the square web with Walter. Oh no. Oh no, here comes the wind. Whoosh! Whoosh went the wind and blow away the square web. Whoosh! Walter sighed and started again. This time he made a longer web in the shape of hmm, a longer web. Can you guess what shape that is? Aha! It's a rectangle! Let's put the rectangle web with Walter. Hmm. All right. Oh no. Oh no, here comes the wind. Whoosh! Whoosh, wind, wind, and blow away the rectangle web again. Oh no. Walter sighed. Then he stretched his leg and made a taller web in the shape of. I wonder what shape. Ooh, it's a diamond. Look at that. It's a diamond web. Let's put it on the board. All right, it looks so pretty. But oh no, here comes the wind again. Whoosh, whoosh, and blow away the diamond web. Whoosh. Oh no. Perhaps my web should be round, thought Walter. Maybe round. Do you think that will work? Let's see. Let's find out. Well, Walter climbed up and down, and he twisted and twirled. Would this be Walter's first perfect web? Let's see. Nearly, it wasn't a perfect web, but it was an almost perfect circle and it looked strong too. Aha, uh -huh. here it is. Let's put the circle web with Walter. Will it stay this time? Are you sure? Let's see. Hmm. Whoa, here comes the wind. When the wind and, whoosh, and blew away the circle, poor Walter, he hit the ground with a bump. Poor Walter, how is he feeling? He looked kind of sad. Yep, he's sad. Walter was tired and he was upset too. He felt like giving up. But as the sun went down, he thought about all the different shapes he had made. All at once, he knew just what to do. So he took a deep breath and set to work. I wonder what he's gonna do. Here comes the wind again. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. But it didn't stop Walter or his web, not this time. And as the stars came out, whoa, look what he made. He made a bigger shape web with circles and diamonds and squares and rectangles. Wow, it looks amazing. 
just like this. Uh -huh. Let's put it with water. Water's wet, shone in the moonlight. It was better than perfect. It was a truly wonderful web. The end. Ah, and look, do you remember all the shapes we practiced? Let's practice again. We have the triangle, the circle, the square, the diamond, and the rectangle. Can you practice the colors with me too? Let's see, yellow, blue, green, red, and orange. Good job, everyone. D and story is all done. Let's put it in our envelope. Now, Miss Maria is going to tell you about our craft. Miss Maria made a sensory spider craft. Look at that. What do you think of my spider? We're going to be using some pipe cleaners and shapes to make our spider. All you have to do is let your parents know. You do not need to make an appointment to come visit us at the library. And you can come pick up your own sensory bag. And in the bag, you will find all of the materials, all of the different shapes and the pie cleaners and the string. All you need is some glue and a little help from an adult to put together your spider. This is all free at the library. Come visit us anytime. Make sure you like our video also and share with your friends. I hope you like the story. Um, so craft is all done. And we are all done for today. All done. Thank you, everybody. I hope you liked the video. See you soon. Bye, my friends.